everyone, it's uh, Doc Fire from um, Dustin Cockers. You guys know me there, and on Facebook is you know my name there. But uh, anyway, I want to talk a little bit about uh, blowback issues, and specifically a lot of talk on Facebook and some other forums about some of the exception designs guns having uh, be a little more prone to a blowback, i.e. the Predator uh, series and uh, the Hornet series. And, uh, although they're the, essentially the same gun, just different milling patterns, and talk about some of the ways to resolve it and some of the reasons why it may be happening. Um, a lot of people are have been complaining or, or are concerned about it, um, or they can't get rid of it. Uh, one of the things you have to remember when these guns are uh, built, uh, wherever they're built at, if they're built at Inception's shop or if they're built at another vendor or a retailer that's getting the kits and building them out, um, it's built by a different person, uh, maybe tuned a little bit different. You guys are buying a used gun. Who knows what the person did to it when it came from the shop. And then, in all honesty, I'm a true believer that the climate and the area, the elevation, weather type, changes on the tuning of these of these cockers just enough, uh, especially these guns, because a little bit more sensitive uh, to uh, minor adjustments, a little tighter uh, spec. And uh, so, for like, for instance, I live in California, very arid climate here. And um, when I go to Super Game in Oregon, it's usually a little bit moister and, and uh, different climates. And I notice that I end up having to tune my guns out. And I, I'm up there with uh, uh, Dan, Evil Race Cocker, and then Shane, the Washington Range. You guys uh, probably know him. And uh, they kind of laugh at me. They I say, you always have to tune your guns. And I go, well, I have to retune them. I go back to California for the climate here. And obviously the paint that I shoot and stuff like that. So let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, a lot of people are kind of saying, "Hey, these guns—they you can't, you can't suction time them, and uh, you can. There's a little bit more sensitive. And so the key thing to remember here is, uh, first off, is you want to make sure that you're you're shooting at chrono speed, and that your LPR is set high enough that uh, you're not when you're but when you're firing the gun that it's not pushing, pulling that bolt back just a little bit, just pulling it back every time that you fire it." Have these guys all gassed up. So if it's if you don't have enough LPR pressure and you fire, it will push this bolt back just a little bit. You may not even see it, and that sometimes will will cause um, a little bit of the blowback issues. Uh, so you want to make sure LPR is high high enough. And people are worried that they're going to chop paint. Um, now you always risk that with these guns with the uh, the trigger that has the the speed bump trigger. I call it has that the little snappy trigger pull. A little harder to do that. Um, the other thing is is um, having a good, uh, good matching uh, bolt. And what a lot of people don't realize are the exception design uh, hornets and predator bodies. The upper tube is a, a 0.6670 uh, uh, size diameter, so it's larger than a standard cocker, just just by a little bit. So you put a standard cocker bolt in there, it's going to run loose. And so um, you just got to be concerned on that. I know that there's been issues with these uh, soft, soft face tips with them blowing off. Um, if you follow the directions and you you sand that, sand that down, and you see this one's been, you see it's been sanded down. It it fits in there nice. It's a nice, nice smooth fit. And then uh, you're gonna have to lube it, lube it up. Um, it's one of the things you're gonna have to do. Um, that's just needed um, so you don't want it to be tight I mean you can see that's it it's not fallen but it's almost fallen and so uh, that's important because that creates a nice seal after the uh, front bolt chambers it creates a nice seal and protects it from any blowback uh, potential around the o-rings uh, the other is I know um, Phil Pro uh, from uh, uh, I think, oh, I can't remember the name of his website, but uh, his tech site. Yeah, he talks about having a bolt that has O-rings. But just remember, these upper tubes are a little larger diameter. Uh, Merlin did that back in the day, the AK Merlins. Uh, some of the some of the uh, mil specs they did, the larger tube was a little larger diameter, and they made a specific bolt for it. And people didn't realize it uh, for a long time. But uh, so you want to make sure that's, uh, that's in there right. It's not too tight. And it's just that your O-rings are good. Um, the other thing is you can run, if, you, if you're really not into that that, that, that soft face tip bolt, 
is you get the uh, Inception Designs, their hard tip bolt, and this is a universal bolt. Uh, it comes with two or two different size O-rings uh, that will slip on here, and uh, it will for the the larger diameter O-rings. I don't know if it uses a metric or a plus one size or something like that on the O-rings. I'll have to figure out what it is. And uh, and then it has a little smart, smaller diameter O-ring that will work on standard cockers. So this is a universal uh, for both. And then you have to specifically, for the soft paste, you have to either um, select the one that comes with it, obviously, or if you're doing a regular gun, it's the, uh, it's the one for the standard cockers, not the, work, not the inception design cockers. So, cut off to the side. Other things is you want to make sure your input pressures at the right, your LPR pressure is set uh, correctly, and, uh, and, and you know, sometimes set a little bit higher. So I kind of recommend um, get a little better ceiling sometimes with your three-way. Uh, your timing set up correctly. Uh, you want it to essentially, if you look at this little window here, we are in the focus, uh, you know, technically you want it to fire the gun right, right about halfway through this, the, the, the width of this window and right before or right about halfway. And, uh, and then after the halfway point, then it's going to go into the the, the cycling the uh, pneumatics or the or the or the bolt. So um, and then so how do you how do you adjust that? There's two places to adjust when it's going to cycle. So you adjust this rod right here determines when it's going to cycle the ram when it's actually going to activate the ram. And and then the lug on your hammer determines uh, when the hammer is released, how soon it released. So if the lug is higher up. The, the sooner that hammer is released in the trigger pull. If it's too high, uh, when you cycle through your trigger pull, the sear will not catch that lug. Um, it's just, just too high. So there's a, a point of no return there. So you'll find out that if you raise that lug and you're firing, you're starting to get skip shots, you need to drop it back down. Then you would go back to this three-way collar and uh, shorten it, um, or should be lengthen it a little bit. So um, uh, this doesn't activate as quick. So the hammer gets released first, then the three ways activated or the ram is actu actuated. So that's what you want to do. Conservative timing means that the hammer gets uh, um, dropped first and further in the further back, the space between when the hammer gets dropped and when the, the ram gets acu act activated, that space, that dwell time between those, uh, that, that activation, the further that's apart, that's more conservative. The closer it's together, it's uh, less conservative and a um, greater chance for getting blowback because you're 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 firing and the the gas has not gone down uh, the uh, the barrel and you're pulling back that bolt before the gas is all escaped and sometimes you get blowback. All right, so um, a lot of people say you can't do suction timing on a uh, resurrection or excuse me not resurrection sorry about that Simon on inception designs cocker so we'll do the infamous oh that just suck in there let's just now I got pieces going out for this down all right so let's let's do that again we're gonna throw that right on top Oh, that's getting sucked in. So I know I can do suction timing. And then tells you that the gun works. So it is doable, all right? Uh, some guns, see if I can get it to, to go up on this guy. I should have put my bolt back in there. Make sure the hole's in the right way. Now, this is a build gun. This is not a Hornet. Uh, this has got a whole bunch of different parts on it. It's got the, uh, an AK. LPR. It's got the resurrection three-way. It's got the uh, resurrection ram, and uh, um, it's an ANS block. I think it's got the um, Obsession Designs hammer kit in the bottom. I don't know. And uh, oops, let me guess this up. All right, let's see. Okay. I want to kind of do this where so you can see it. If I can drop this on there. I'm going to hold it. Let's see. If it... 
it's not blowing up. It's let's see if I can twist this over just a little bit. There we go. I'm getting blowback from my toolbox. Okay, that's air coming up the side of my hand. It's not blowing the thing up. Oh, that that one did. Okay, you guys see that. So this one's not suction timed. It's right at. Uh, there's just no no blowback. Now that's with that his new hard face bolt. Pull that out. Okay. So, and to show you that I. And it was actually firing. I had the hole in the right area. So it is possible. Now, the funny thing is, if I pull this bolt out of this gun and pull, put it in that gun and I fire it, it's gonna, it acts different. It actually, this one doesn't want to cock again. And it's just how it works. I have to tweak it a little bit. So every part's a little bit different. But it is possible on these. So if you pick up one of these and you're having blowback in it, don't get upset. Um, there's a few things you can do. The first thing I would do is run your, uh, I think it's eighth inch Allen, down the top tube. Yeah. You don't even have to take the bolt out to pull back on the hammer a little bit down there and, and turn it about, an, uh, about a sixteenth, you know, about an eighth turn. You know, ha that's a quarter. About just just a little bit. Just make a make a little turn on it and try that first. Just just raise that lug just a little bit, okay? And and maybe that will help you out. Maybe that will be that's that's everything. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to make that hammer um, drop before the, the pneumatic cycle, and you're trying to create increase that dwell time between those uh, that that time of waiting between when the hammer drops and the pneumatics actuates. And sometimes it makes a little longer trigger pull, but with these guns, it doesn't matter. So once again, totally doable, suction timing, Predator Cocker, number 300, and uh, good luck, folks.